you know the HTTPS part of the URL. This part indicates that communication between the client, a web browser for example, and the server is secure. Under the hood, clients and servers use encryption algorithms to scramble the data that is in transit, which prevents anyone from reading it as it is sent over the connection. And to enable HTTPS on your website, you will need to get a certificate from a certificate authority. In this video, we are going to explore Let's Encrypt, which is a free certificate authority, and how we can configure it on our Forge servers. So stay tuned. So, imagine a login form where users enter their username and password. When the form is submitted over regular HTTP, the data will be sent in raw form through the network until it reaches the server. Take a look. Here is how the data is transferred from the browser to the server. Anyone who can intercept the network calls will be able to see the username and the password submitted. To avoid that, the server and the browser implement a mechanism to encrypt the communication of data between them using a certificate that the server presents and the browser verifies. Once they agree on that certificate, they start sending the data in an encrypted form that no one except them can understand. So to enable encryption on your server, you need a certificate from a certificate authority that the browser trusts. That's when you need Let's Encrypt. They allow you to issue certificates by verifying the domain ownership. And they do that by checking that the certificate request comes from a server that controls the domain. So they send the requesting server a unique token and then send a web or DNS request to the domain in question to retrieve a key drive derived from that token. If the key they received is the one they, that they expected, that means the server owner is a person who also owns the domain and can control its DNS records. Once the certificate is issued, the server stores it and presents it to the browser when it tries to connect. And Laravel Forge allows us to issue Let's Encrypt certificates and configure Nginx to, pre to present them to clients that make requests to our domains. And not only that, it also handles auto-renewing the certificates on a regular basis so you don't have to worry about issuing new certificates manually before they expire. So let's see how to issue Let's Encrypt certificates in Forge. To get started, let's create a new site in our Forge server. We need to fill the site name here and add any aliases or alternative domains we want to use for this site in this field here. Forge will allow us to issue a certificate that covers all the domains we want later. For the sake of this demo, I'll only use one primary domain. Also, let's check the allow wildcard subdomains checkbox here so the site responds to requests that target any subdomain under that primary domain. Forge also allows us to issue wildcard certificates that covers all subdomains. Now let's add this wildcard site by clicking the add button. Once the site is added, we need to grab the server IP address and create an A record in our DNS providers dashboard. We will add one record with an asterisk for the record name to indicate that this is a wildcard record. And another record for the root domain. Both records point to our server's IP address. Now, if we visit the site in the browser, we can see the Forge default screen. We will see the same screen if we visit any of the subdomains. Now that we have our site up and running with the DNS records pointing to our server, it's time we look into issuing Let's Encrypt certificates. And there are two types of certificates that Forge offers. The first one is a regular certificate which covers specific domains. And the second type is a wildcard certificate that covers several subdomains of the same domain. To issue a regular certificate, 
All you need is to configure the DNS records of all the domains you wish to issue the certificate for to point to the server. Wildcard certificates, on the other hand, requires one additional step. So let's take a look. To issue a certificate, let's head over to the SSL tab on the site settings screen. Click on the Let's Encrypt option. And we can see that Forge already filled the domains field with the root domain and the wildcard domain since the site we configured is a wildcard site. Let's remove the wildcard domain and see what happens. As you can see, Forge hides a couple of fields that aren't needed when we want to issue a regular certificate. If we add the wildcard domain pack, Forge will ask us to fill the DNS provider credential fields. For me, I am using Cloudflare, so I am going to select it from the list here. Forge then asks me to provide the Cloudflare API token. I have already generated an ABI token that have the zone.zone.read and zone.dns.edit permissions, which is required by Forge. I will paste the token here in this field. Now let's take a look at this prefer ISRG root X1 chain checkbox. Basically, this new chain is shorter and more efficient, which will allow faster communication between your server and different clients. However, old Android devices doesn't support it, so when users visit your website from these old devices, they won't be able to receive a response. So if you still want to support these old Android devices, don't check the box. Otherwise, check it, so let's encrypt, will only create a certificate that supports the new root chain and not the old one. And now let's click on Obtain Certificate to finish our work. In the background, Forge will communicate with Let's Encrypt, Encrypt with all the details you have submitted and Let's Encrypt will make a DNS request to verify the domain ownership. Once all this is done, you will be able to access the website over HTTPS, which means all data transfer from this point forward will be encrypted. And not only that, Forge will configure a redirect from HTTP to HTTPS. So any user who visits our website on the HTTP protocol will be redirected to use the HTTPS protocol. And here we go, a free auto-renewing wildcard certificate in just a couple of minutes. And as I shared earlier, if you just need a regular certificate, it will take even less time to configure it since you don't have to provide your DNS credentials. For regular certificates, Forge will configure a special Nginx location block that stores the Let's Encrypt key. After that, it will ask Let's Encrypt to visit this location on the domain so it knows the server controls the domain by providing the Let's Encrypt key that it expects. And in case the verification fails, Forge will show you an error message with details on what went wrong and possible solutions that you can try yourself. In the rare occasions where certificates issuing fail, it's usually due wrong DNS provider credentials in case of wildcard certificates or manual customization to the Nginx configuration file that overrides the custom location Forge adds to handle the Let's Encrypt verification process for regular certificates. So if you double check the credentials and trade the Nginx configuration file carefully while doing any manual customization, you will be all right. Let's Encrypt issuing will not fail if you follow to these two simple rules. All right. That's all I have for you in this video. If you haven't tried Forge yet, sign up at forge.laravel.com and use coupon code Arts and Deploy for a 10% discount on your first three months. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video.